Here we go. Clean sheet of ice. Challenge has been laid, and it's been accepted. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Time to get it on here in the EASHL. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Eagles take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Picks off the pass. Quick pass to Zetterberg. Here's a shot. Oh, you would have had that, Ferraro. Not really. I mean, I, I think <laughs> I tried the same shot, but you don't hit the net. You don't give yourself a chance. They've got numbers. Sends it across. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Moves it quickly over to Setterberg. Handles it along the blue line. Big time Run stop sport. there. Stand up. Him in the open ice. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. Stop that one. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Fort Wayne's won the draw. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Toronto's got it along the wall. Can't connect. Moves it to Ovechkin. What a steal in his own end. Looking to set up offensively. Here's the pass. And they come up empty-handed. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Slides it diagonally to King. And they fail to go tape to tape. And that one's stolen at center ice. Couldn't complete the play. Puck grabbed by Lemieux. Passes it over to Mete. Here's a short pass to Cheek. From the boards, he takes that pass. And he totally scores! Buries it to rest in peace! Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Comets get a hold of the puck off the draw. Quick feed to Zetterberg. Rocks him on the play and makes the save. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Directed over to Cheek. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Fort Wayne's been in the right position all game long. They've intercepted plays like this since the beginning. All smart heads up play to put that one away. Passes on over to Bell. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Toronto's up one zip. Cheeks won the faceoff. Slides the pass over to Pugliarvi. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. And they can't convert to the play. There's the whistle, icing the call. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Comets take possession off the face-off. You can wheel the breakout now once you win that draw. Taken by Bell. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Fort Wayne's won it. Quick pass to Zetterberg. Handles the puck. Right to the middle. Knocked away. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. Mentes won it in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. 
And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Slides the puck over. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Jolly. And that pass goes awry. It's a two-on-one. Sends it over. He scores on the power play. Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. Fort Wayne's won the draw in the neutral zone. Great positioning by the Damn defender. It. Cheeks hauled down. Penalty on the way. Let's see the call here. Ryan's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. Cheeks won the draw. Takes the shot, and that goes wide of everything. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. Toronto's offense has given them a one-goal lead. Not to be Captain Obvious here, Ray, but this is what the coach wants to see, right? Love playing in front of the game, and you want to make the opponent chase you around the ice. They've accomplished that with them. He's got a little jump. Cuts to the front. He scores! What a finish! You get a chance like this, they don't come very often. You better put it away, and he does beautifully. Too sweet. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And sneaks in and grabs possession. No one home on that play. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Comets have it against the wall. Fort Wayne's got the puck now. Poked away. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Move to the middle. Backhander. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Off the outside of the post and stays out. 19 seconds. 8 seconds. Tries to get the puck over to Pugliarvi. Pass right in front. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. So get ready here on EA Sports.
Well, the challenge has been accepted here in this EASHL showdown. Time to find out who gets to own this one. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. Moves it to Kapanen. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, big. They scores! And they're on the board early. They told us this morning they thought they could jump out quick. And they certainly did that to the visitors. Utah's got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team, the first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. Picked up along the wall by Kane. Here's a short pass to Frank. And now he tries to get it across to Appleton. Ovechkin's got it in the offensive end. To his teammate! connect and the puck is cleared to a safer spot tries to feed it over to Ovechkin couldn't make that one happen Utah's got a hold of it against the wall quick feed to Kapanen the Comets take possession here in the open ice and a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up Rister gives him nothing in front here comes the call Ovechkin's getting called for tripping Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Grabs control of it at the point. The Grizzlies played along the boards. Wow. Scores with the man advantage. Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around, and they do cash in. The Grizzlies have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Utah's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Nice pass. Here's a shot! Nothing! Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a pass down low. Fires it, and he makes the save. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Quick pass to Frank. The Grizzlies played along the wing. Fort Wayne's gained possession along the boards. Look out, a two-on-one. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Played big in the moment there. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Here's a chance. Scores. Fort Wayne's cut the lead to one. They're back at center ice and ready to get back into this thing. My favorite part about this is the coaches on both benches are going to be pulling their hair out. I like goals. <laughs> they don't. Love offense. Let's do it. Dishes it to King. Moves it quickly over to Setterberg. Officials say play on. That's a score. Hard to get him, but quicker than that, a pair of goals in 40 seconds. Look at this, a comeback completed here, and we got a new game. That was a comfortable lead not very long ago. Past the midway mark of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. That pass doesn't go. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Utah's effort pays off, and they take the one-goal lead. You can't even really relax. I mean, it's so much time left in the game. You've got the lead. That's great. Now go and get another one. Tosses it to Ovechkin. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Puts it on net, and a great save! Harkabus works the puck in his own zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The setters will glide into the dot. Franks won it. 
Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. The Grizzlies will go to work here in the offensive zone. Shuts them down. Puck scooped up by Kane. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. And now he angles it across to Kapanen. The Grizzlies looking against the half wall. Forces the turnover. And they can't connect. Scores! Going to call it off. Waving it off immediately. Pretty sure on the ice. Those officials didn't take any time before they waved this one down. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Setterberg's won the draw. They've got the defense outnumbered. Moves the puck over to Frank. Moves it to Kapanen. The Grizzlies take it along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Frank's got it along the wing. The Comets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Zetterberg. Quick shot. Off target. Uh, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Pushes it across to Zetterberg. Nice defensive robbery on that. Rocks him. Quick feed to Ovechkin. Feeds it down low. Put it off the post. Answered the call there. Takes the feed. Can't find his man. Fort Wayne's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to King. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Harkabus moves the puck. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. And that'll do it for period number one. No shortage of offense. Woo. I'm exhausted after that. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Comets are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing Keep your the head game. Up, kid. He got robbed again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Moves it quickly over to Frank. Kane's got it against the boards. Utah's got the puck behind the net. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. Well, the face-off, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four-on-four, four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick! Dished on over to King. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Scooped up along the wall by Appleton. His reflexes on display tonight. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Slides it up to Frank. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Into the corner of the attacking area. Moves it to Kapanen. And they can't convert to the play. Centering pass. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Couldn't complete the play. Sends a pass over. 
Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Take it along the wall by Ryan. Feeds the puck over to Setterberg. Takes the pass. And that one's turned away. Ho's gonna hang. There's a nasty slash that'll get some attention. Yeah, it should. It looked like he's chopping wood. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Puck picked up by Appleton. Now over to Frank. And he slides it quickly to Kapanen. Kane's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Here's a short pass to King. Sends the pass over. Scores! That one went off the defender and past the goaltender. The centermen glide into position. The Grizzlies win possession here in the open ice. Not able to connect. Utah's got the puck. Up along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Couldn't connect on that pass. And now it's grabbed by Setterberg. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Broken up with a stick. Great defensive stick work on the play. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick feed to King. Takes the feed. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Franks won the draw here in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Made the stop on the play. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Utah's looking to break out. And that one's picked off. And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck grabbed by Kane. Fort Wayne's looking to break out of their own end. Ovechkin's got the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Great positioning in the defensive end. Quick pass to Kapanen. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Moves the puck. And he gains the zone here. Sends it across. And that one's broken up. Utah's got a hold of the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Strong defensive effort. Ovechkin's going to play against the half wall. Big save in front. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. The Grizzlies scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Frank. With some open space at center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Manages to hang on. And that's picked off. And now he moves it to Ryan. And tries to make a diagonal pass to King. Oh, he ripped that right huh. after the whistle. What's he thinking? Here in the late going to the frame, it's all tied up. The Grizzlies win the faceoff. Moves it to Frank. That pass goes a little sideways. Second period nearly into its final minute here. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Setterberg's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. Fort Wayne's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bell. Denies him on the play. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end.
and we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Well, let's see what this third period can offer in what has been a score fest thus far. Quick feed to Frank. Hammer. Lays into the body. Fort Wayne's got control of it now from their own end. Works it across to Kane from the blue line. He scores! There's the hat trick in here. Here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Utah's won the draw. Fort Wayne's got the puck in their own end. Nothing doing on that. Taken by Appleton. Handles the puck. Now a quick pass to King. He's got a step. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. Charging the call. You can really see this one coming a mile away. I thought he was going to let up on the hit. You see how far he travels to make it, but he decided to finish it. Now he'll finish the next two minutes in the box. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. From against the wall into the open ice. Whoa! Scores! The power play and cash earlier they do so again here really nice effort with the extra man the grizzlies with a quick strike in this third period what a difference that changes the outlook of this game a one to two goal lead in the third period becomes a big deal quick pass to frank oh that's a good hit moves the puck along the half wall pokes it away in his own end Accepted. Sends it in on the attack. The Grizzlies get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. Poe's able to breathe a little bit there. He's had a difficult night tonight, but they've still got a nice lead in spite of his play. Can't catch up to the pass. From one point man to another. And the long-range shot goes off target. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Utah's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. From the neutral zone now. Slides the puck over. And now it's grabbed by Setterberg. Comes up with the steal. He's all alone with the goaltender. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. Fails to find the open man. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. Here's a chance. Great glove save. Poe's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Past the midway mark in this period. Utah's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Made the stop on that play. Fort Wayne's got a hold of it against the wall. Delayed penalty looming. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. A little too much nasty in the eyes of the official on that hit. Charging the call, Ray. I think there should be more charging penalties. You travel 35 or 40 feet to hit somebody. That should be a charging penalty. Stones him in front. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And that one's blocked. The Grizzlies gain possession along the wall. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. 
Ovechkin's going to get two for hooking on the play. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Fort Wayne's in now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Setterberg. Couldn't complete the play. Feeds the puck to Appleton. Gives it right back. And now it's over to Kapanen. And they fail to go tape to tape. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Great defensive effort with the stick. Setterberg's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Too much traffic in the lane. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Harkabuzz is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Fishing around for the puck. He gets his stick into the player's feet, and this becomes an easy call. And they manage to clear it. Hangs onto the puck. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Ryan's been nabbed for tripping. Trying to get to the puck. He reaches his stick right into the guy's feet. and Down he goes. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Denies him! That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. Looks to set up at the point now. And that goes off a player. Kane's got it in the defensive end. The Grizzlies take it along the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. Receives the pass. Moves it to Frank. And now he tries to get it across to Appleton. And he gets down to block it. Utah's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. From the right side, all alone! Oh, what a defensive stop! Yeah, he did have the step, James, but the defender closed the gap and is able to foil the chance. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Utah's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Fort Wayne's ready to go on the attack. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Kane's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Frank. Passes right to the front. In close. Whoa. He scores. Make that four straight. They seem stunned, like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Fort Wayne's got a hold of the puck off the draw. We got a penalty coming up here. Denies him out. He scores! Talk about capitalizing there. They looked like they were more aggressive knowing that they were going to get a power play. You can take a chance. There's no risk of giving up anything against. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Passes it to Frank. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. The Grizzlies will play it against the boards. Quick feed to Frank. And that's blocked. Puck scooped up by Bell. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. Puck picked up by Ovechkin. Handles the pass from the right wing. Nice poke check. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Utah's on the attack. Oh, what a stop! Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. Move to the middle. Here he is, wristed on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves the puck to Kapanen. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Ryan's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And that'll do it for ringside here. Well, Razor, you want to sum this one up for us? Yeah, bad choice, bad decisions. We've all made them. Those guys just made one. I believe the term is stay in your lane.